Okay, great tense. For today's exercise, we are going to transfer this model from the orthographic into an isometric. Now, on the diagram here, we can clearly see that the orthographic views are in third angle orthographic projection. We know this both because we can see that the trapezium and the symbol is on the right side. If it was on the left side, then it would have been in first angle orthographic projection. But simply put, because the top view is at the top, therefore this must be in third. So this is the top view, the front view, and the left view. Then looking at the front view, we can clearly see that there are two slopes, one in the back, and there's one in the front. So these are what are going to be transferred into non-isometric lines. I'll get back to that later. So all the horizontal lines that you see here, they, 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 all of them will be drawn at 30 degrees, while the vertical lines will remain vertical, and like I said, these are determined by finding the start and the end and just connecting them. Then you also need to calculate the maximum height, length and width of breadth. So the height is 56 in total. We know that by adding up these two units. The total length is given at 40. And the width we get by adding up the two 16s there, which gives us 32. Please keep in mind that the scale is one to one, so the measurements stay exactly what they are on the diagram. Then to start, we keep these in mind when we go to the drawing. Now you can clearly see here that point A is going to be the lowest part of the drawing, but unlike the previous exercise, you can see that there's no grid, so we're going to have to create our own lines, and we do this by using the 36 degree set square. Please take note that you have to use the small angle on the set square. Okay, so this one is 60. We're not going to use this one. So we're going to use the vertical side and we're going to be using the 30 degree angle. You know, the other way, you simply turn it and that's the way you're going to get it. And for today's exercise, the red pencil or pen will be construction lines. And when you see the Parker pen that's in black, and that will be the solid lines. Uh, please focus on your line constructions as well. Okay, you have to keep it very, very light. Obviously, I for today's exercise, I'm going to make my constructions darker so you can see it. So to start, we're going to draw a full block for the entire asymmetric. So before we can, uh, draw the detail with the detail, we first want the box that it's going to fit into. So I'm going to start on A and just draw a 30 degree construction line both ways and again you can draw these as long as you need to and then we're going to add our vertical so you'll see it looks like a down arrow then we're going to add our length now because A has to be the lowest point the length has to be here on the right side and the width is going to be on the left side and we know that the total length is 40. So we're simply going to take our measurement and mark it down. Right, and then we know that the width is 32. And then we know that our total height, of course, is 56. Alright, there you can see the three dots. So now all you have to do is complete the asymmetric. You take a 30 degree angle that's here. You slide, you'll see it's parallel with the bottom. You slide it in and you draw the top line at 30 degrees as well. Then you rinse and repeat on the left side and you draw a construction line on the left. Then you can immediately go and mark down the height. And then to find the top, all you have to do is go to the top point and go in the opposite direction with 30 degrees. So 30 that way, 
then you turn it around and you go 30 this way and there you can actually see the box there it is so you can actually see there's the top stopping at this point then it goes down 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 so there's the box that it's going to fit into then we're going to start by adding the other heights so going back to the diagram you can clearly see that we have this 24 which I'm going to mark down and then in the top view on the back you can see that we've got 220 so that's going to be a distance of 20 and the distance from there to there will be 20 as well so we're going to start here on the left side just to mark the middle and we know that it's 20, 16 on each side so that's 10 at 15 and there is 16 then I'm also going to mark down the height which is 24 on the right side so we're going to go to this point here and we're going to measure 24 going up and there you can see the 24 and then you can see the midpoint on the left side so now I can go and immediately I can draw the front profile because it is simply it looks like a triangular prism Right, now that we have our front pro profile for the triangular prism, we know that this prism goes in by 16, so we can immediately go and draw this corner solid as well, although technically that entire corner should be solid. Now to get the back, that's obviously going at 30 degrees as well, because it is an isometric line. So we go from the back corner and we draw a construction line running there so there you can see the construction line running from that point also at 30 degrees then there are more than one way to get this back corner what I often find that is simplest you take any set square and you simply place it on that line then you can take another set square or ruler and place it at the base of that, that set square and when you slide it on that ruler you'll get it parallel every single time so you can see it's parallel parallel so I'm shifting it until I get to this point and then I can draw the line to the right side so there you can actually see the thickness alternatively what you could have done you could have measured 16 there as well and then you just could have connected it either way as long as you get the proper result right now we have our prism right now I'm going to draw the profile which is basically a rectangular prism here on the left side uh, there's more than one way to do it um, I'm going to simply because we know it's also the same height as they have on this corner so all I'm going to do is I'm going to take it from the, that point and I'm going to take it round and mark it here you could of course draw the line as well either way works and then I just go around the profile and I draw the construction line there you can see the same height going round and it's also it starts here because both this profile and this profile are both 16 at the base so all you basically have to do now is you go from that corner and you draw this profile nice and solid immediately so I can draw the vertical line there draw the same line on this side and then I can complete this corner and I can draw the profile at the solid at the top so there you can see now it's taking shape next week not able to do the slope because we don't know where it's going to end so we're going to be drawing the profile on the top so that we can simply connect it now we know that the top profile has 
starts on this corner so we're going to take this line straight up and that will give us that width okay but to get the length we know that it's 20 in so I'm going to go to the top and we're going to mark 20 on the edge here okay and then again you take the line in by 30 degrees you can see there I've drawn the construction line the 50 degree line running there and then to get the width you can technically measure it but I'm just going to carry it over so from this corner here I'm going to go straight up and then I'm going to bounce it off this corner and then I'll go 30 degrees to in and there you can clearly see the top profile so I went from this corner up I bounced it off that corner and went 30 degrees in and I stopped on the line and there's the top of that profile and we can draw it solid. Right now we're almost done, so I can simply connect these two corners. And then all I have to do to get the slope on this side, because it's non two non-isometric lines, which means you can't go at 30 degrees or vertical, I simply put it on the top corners and connect it to the bottom ones. And our isometric is done.